everyone, Kyle Erickson here. If you buy an iPad Air or a Pro right now, it's very likely that it's going to have an M1 chip packed inside of it, which basically makes it just as powerful as most laptops and MacBooks out there. They are pretty affordable as well, starting at $599 for the iPad Air, but the iPad on its own can't really compare to a laptop, seeing as it doesn't have a physical keyboard, and you can't really sit this on a desk without a case or a stand. For the most part, there seems to be two ways that you can go if you're looking for a case with a keyboard for the iPad. You can go the Apple route, which is obviously really expensive, or you can spend way less on a budget product where you're not going to get very good quality. However, However, one option that I have found that's a lot more affordable than the Apple Magic Keyboard and still has amazing quality is the Logitech Combo Touch Keyboard Case. The model I have here is for both the 4th gen and 5th gen iPad Air, but you can also pick this up for most other iPad versions as well. This retails between $159 and $199, where you're looking at $300 or so for the Apple Magic Keyboard, which is a pretty big savings. And you also do get a lot more protection than you would on the Magic Keyboard as well. Looks wise, it does feel like a premium case. It fits nice and snug on the iPad. Uh, the texture on it is nice and it just has a nice minimal look to it. But all the surfaces have this woven texture on them that almost looks like fabric but it does appear to be a little bit harder or almost plastic, which I actually prefer because it doesn't get as dirty as fast and it doesn't absorb your skin oil as easy. If you're using this keyboard a lot and you're resting your palms on the base, I think it'd be highly likely that if it was a softer material, you'd see dirt build up there. So having this a bit harder material will leave this a lot cleaner. The iPad slides just inside of the main case where it's got this rubber plastic material that goes around the edges. It has cutouts for the Touch ID button, the speakers, charging port, Apple Pencil, and the volume buttons sit just underneath the edges and are set up to be pressable through the case. I really love that they left an open space for the pencil to clip on. On a lot of these cases, you'll see that they have something where the pencil will clip into some kind of housing, or it has some other kind of weird accommodation that isn't using it how it's intended to be used. So plus one there, also, the Touch ID button is really easy to touch, even with it being inset a bit. The one thing that I don't like here is the volume buttons that are underneath the case at the top, especially if you have a 5th gen iPad Air. The 4th gen and 5th gen Airs are identical to each other, but the one thing that they did on the newer version was switch the orientation of the volume up and down buttons. So this plus and minus is actually incorrect. Uh, I'm sure on later versions they will probably sort that out, but it's just something to take note of. The keyboard is fully detachable and it is magnetic. It just snaps right into place. And I was actually really surprised at the quality of the keyboard and the trackpad. I assume that it would be decent enough, but all the keys feel great to touch and the trackpad isn't loose at all. There's no rattle and it just works amazingly well. You have a full set of short cut keys specifically for the iPad with a home screen key, a search key and media controls, which is nice and kind of alleviates that volume button issue. And it does have a really nice adjustable backlight. There is also an auto on and off feature when you fold the keyboard in and out from the screen. And I do really like folding this in front of the screen more than a leather folio case like the Nomad one that I have here. I found that with any leather or fabric material that covers the screen, it tends to leave a layer of dust on it whenever you wanna use it, where the combo touch does not. You can also flip the keyboard around and attach it the other way to fold it backwards if you're using it handheld to read a book or something, or you can just completely remove it and just hold onto the back of the case itself. The back of the case has the camera nicely inset so you don't have a bump sticking up at all. And under that, there is your stand with adjustable angles. Now you can use this so it sits up if you want to use this with your keyboard or if you want to watch a video, or you can flatten it out a little bit more if you want to use this with the Apple Pencil, which I find really useful when I'm editing photos or taking notes. Everything in here is very well made and I haven't had any issues with it. The keyboard and the trackpad are great quality 
and it is quite rugged as well. So if for any reason you drop your iPad, I do think that it does offer good protection. I love the look of it and it is a nice neutral gray color. So it goes with almost any accessory. It is maybe a little bit on the heavy side with the keyboard attached. And that's probably one thing that I would change about it if I had to choose something along with that volume button that I did mention earlier. But overall, this is a great case and keyboard combo. I know at a glance, this might seem a little bit pricey, but if you can snag this for around $160, that's almost half the cost of the Apple Magic Keyboard. And it's only about $10 more than the Nomad Rugged Folio case, which obviously doesn't have a keyboard at all or an adjustable kickstand. Now, I am really curious if anyone else has found a great keyboard case set up for their iPad. If you have something that you love and that works really well, let me know in the comments down below along with any questions or comments about the Logitech Combo Touch. If you enjoyed the video, please spank that like button. And if you want to see more tech related content, please subscribe and feel free to let me know what kind of tech you'd like to see show up on this channel as well. And I will do my best to make that happen. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.